I have a strong feeling we're on Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Partner, I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, lots of money? Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're going to want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride! and write it again. Sticky sweet. I don't get what Cassandra wants with this stuff. The only <laughs> thing I know about is jelly is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall! SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. <laughs> We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first, just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Pursue that paraphernalia! Huh. Maybe we can take this path later, but who knows, maybe not. Jelly. 
sticky sweet. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, <laughs> meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe.
The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. I saw Shiny over there. Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure! I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh... So, any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set... Thirty-five point seven points. Go around. Keep on smashing. You have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. SpongeBob! Hey! Hold your horses! Oh, I don't think she can! This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse like animals. With the exception of. Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Friend? My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do.
putting you in my pocket. Ouch! Billy the Bass is getting his big celebration today. Yeah, folks are coming from all over to see him. I reckon most of them are coming for the free ice cream. Oh, SpongeBob? What, Patrick? Do you feel like we're being... watched? Buns? SpongeBob? What, Patrick? Oh, uh, SpongeBob? What, Patrick? Do you feel like we're being watched? <laughs> It's a big slingshot. So where do you think we'll find the sheriff? Where you'll find any self-respecting lawman? The saloon! Look, 
It's Sandy! I mean, it's the Sheriff! Now look what the snail dragged in! You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite! Oh, don't bite! Too unsanitary! I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie, but hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Sheriff, Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. Hey, cutie pie. Care for a tune about the red-handed bandit? The red-handed bandit? Do tell! Oh, the cactus juice and manna fay made every day feel sunny. Till an outlaw came a-riding through to make a little money. That vile, twisted, tight-fisted red-handed bandit. He robbed us of our juice and left our barrels dry. That vile, twisted, tight-fisted, money-grubbing, land-loving, red-handed bandit. This red-handed bandit sounds like one bad dude. Don't worry, lady. We'll find more cactus juice and bring it back to Manta Fey.
cactuses is, is, they're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. familiar-looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them, since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick, let's find those thorny cucumbers. Sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? seen a fish like this. Woo! <laughs> Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! Juicy cactus go the wants us! Yeah! Oh. Woo! <laughs> Funny meeting you here. Just uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit. I mean, uh, cacti all around these parts. Now get.
could count on you, Patrick. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Order up! Blech! So slimy! Another old warning sign. It reads, beware of bullworm? Why worry about a little worm? Even a blind hog can find an acorn once in a while.
sticky sweet. You don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way. Bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. 
follow that trail, my little saps. shot at beating your bubble surfing record. Set than that, boy. Bring me some more sap. Go on, get. A little dabble, do ya? Personal. I got a 
sword I saw, Mr. Krabs! All this desert must be giving you sand brain. The little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. Chafing. You put up a sign or something. says, turn back, mind closed, hungry bullworm, seriously. This little worm sounds like a big problem. Uh, how old is this sign again? That should cover my buns. Looks like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. The crusty grass beats up, beats up, beats up, you and me. Sticky 
Patrick, I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a goose. I see. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. You do care. Mm -hmm. way yet. It's so dark. Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator, but what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That Don Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? The Crusty Crab. Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole!
You'd be worm food by now, but since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> One loading screen later. ourselves a train to catch.
Rogue's Locker, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red-handed bandit. Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! It's like she has this all planned out.